So guys, what is up? <clears throat> we are playing some more Marvel, and um, well, I'm not really physically playing, but the game is playing for me. So I have been kind of going through my mind in the midst of my brain, in the uh, depths of the theory, um, and I found some really interesting things about this update that I honestly don't care about. Now, the first thing I want to get off my chest is that this update was actually kind of a waste of an update. Let me turn the game down some. This was physically a waste of time. Like, I mean, as we all know, the Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out. I mean, I've already seen it, but, like, for what the Guardians of the Galaxy movie was offered and how it showed the characters in the movie, how the characters in the movie were extremely badass and extremely, you know, collaborating as a team and working together and just an awesome movie all around, right? So, and then we have a game that we all play and we all enjoy and we go to invest our time in the characters such as the ones that are shown in the movies and they are not as awesome as the ones in the movies. So I do get why Netmarble didn't, like, make the characters that we are like for this update the characters on this update extremely amazing i get why because there are a lot of strong characters that can overpower them in many ways the only two things out of this update that actually gives anyone anything is baby groot and sharon rogers like that's it sharon rogers and groot and venom my, my bad i forgot to add venom i forgot Baby Groot and Sharon Rogers are also uniforms, though. That That's the tricky thing here. Everyone was on this hype. Oh, Agent Venom, Agent Venom. Agent Venom is a great character. Yes, he's an awesome character. Invest into him if you can. He is a great character, and I will invest into him in due time. But as of right now, I am with and using Baby Groot right now. Because I don't have Sharon Rogers maxed out or Sharon Rogers leveled up at all. I could have given her the star tickets to rank her up. And I didn't, because I, I, I don't know, I was just, I really wanted Baby Groot, because of, I just wanted something small for my, you know, collection of characters. And of course, I'm, I didn't have Groot ranked up, so I used the tickets on Groot, because of course, uh, Groot is either Dimension Rift, or you buy his bios, or you find some simple, small way to get his bios. Which is eh. And another thing about the update that came uh, that came with this update, not not physically the same day as the update dropped, but later down the line, we had an event. And I hopefully, you know, this event is decent, but it actually really isn't. The only good thing about this event is the two things shown. Advancement ticket and card chest. I'm not going to go for the comic card galaxy chest because I want my tier 2 ticket. That's literally, you know, that's important to me. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you, you know, how easy this shit runs and how the map looks. Now, each and every one of these stages are exactly the same. There is no difference between any of the stages, just maybe a little bit of the level, the difficulty, depending on how, how shitty of a, you know, player you are. Because any six star maxed out per decently geared character can clear every one of these. Of course, Doctor Strange is overkill, but, you know, if you don't have Doctor Strange by now, then, you know, and you literally at, like, level 50-something, you're going to have to use money, sir. Because, <laughs> I mean, Doctor Strange is literally one of the easiest try-hard characters to get. Besides Dormammu and fucking, what's his face? Odin. Odin, I still haven't gotten Odin. I can say I haven't gotten Odin, and I'm not really trying to go for Odin. I'm just not, you know, I haven't got around to him. I will eventually, but, you know, it's going to take some time. And time is this game is game's favorite thing to do, is take time. Take precious time out of you. And another thing, a character that I haven't invested in at all, but I've heard a lot of good things about the character, is Yondu. He hasn't gotten anything for this update. I've seen so many good comments about Yondu Tier 2, Yondu Tier 2 Uniform. I've heard so much good shit about Yondu, and yet, nothing. Nebula, nothing. Not even, like, a little tweak here and there. Nebula's a decent character for, you know, alliance battle and shit like that. But, you know, she's not, like, meta-changing, but she's good. 
and Baby Groot. We could talk about Baby Groot real quick. Um, he has three typings now. He is Combat, Universal, and Speed. His speed may be his best uniform. I do not know. I haven't really... I don't have his Universal uniform. I haven't put any time into Groot. Because I have never used Groot until now. Like, I've never started using Groot until Baby Groot. I mean, I know that's kind of, you know, cliche and shitty to say. Like, yo, you don't really know how to, you know, use Groot. Or you have never used his other potential. Yeah, you're right, I haven't. But I've watched videos, and the other videos, he's still trash. Baby Groot, he's, he's decent. He's not trash. He's decent. He has, he has a strong purpose within him. He's a good speed character now. Like, this uniform makes him a decent speed character. I give it that. And his iframes are decent. And he does good damage. Like, I was I was playing against him with some world bosses, not even fully maxed out, and he, he did some work. Baby Groot does some work sometimes. You just gotta have the right setup with him. And you have to buff up his damage a little more. His iframes are nice, though. They're really, really good. I, I dig the iframes that they gave Baby Groot. He's he's good. He's one of the best the best three out the uh, the update. Him, Sharon, and fucking... What's his face? Venom. Space space Venom. I don't give a fuck. He is not Agent Venom. That is nowhere near Agent Venom. I've given up on saying that. Fuck this Agent... That's not Agent Venom, bro. Go to Contest of Champions, and you'll find Agent Venom. This is, like, some kind of, like... Space Venom, like he's all like symbiote. He's not supposed to be like that. If he's considered Agent Venom, the only reason why they gave him the Agent Venom is because they put the fucking shield on his chest. They put the shield thing on his chest. That does not qualify him as an Agent Venom. Net Marble knows so much about Marvel, right? But yet yeah, doesn't know the difference between Agent Venom and Space Venom. Don't get it? Don't care. Their game, their money, right? We just consume and play. This is ridiculous. I was just watching my character. He just got stunned for no reason. And another thing about this update that's kind of irked me is that... I mean, everything's so bulky. Like, all the... The, the, the lifelines... I mean, not the life, but all the characters, the way the tier 2 looks. It's all, like, really bulky and, like... Really, eh. I don't know. I don't like the way it looks. I kind of preferred it the way it looked before. Maybe the... The glow... Within it, I mean, it's got a certain glow to it. I like the glow, but it's not like, eh. I mean, it's interesting the way they did some of the things in the update. The update was, wasn't was big enough for the, the lengthy time it was given. Like, the only thing that was basically a heavy thing is Sharon Rogers, Agent Venom, Baby Groot, and the Alliance Conquest. That was literally it, and some tweaks with some other stuff. Now... I haven't purchased all the uniforms at all. I've only done Baby Groot's uniform. So we're going to get into the roster that I have slowly, you know, growing. Oh, yeah, and I tier 2 to, um, what's his fucking face? I tier 2 this guy. Yeah. I don't know. I need a tier 2 more universal characters. I'm probably going to tier 2 Black Bolt because I heard he is a good tier 2. I'm going to tier 2 Black Bolt. I'm going to tier 2 Baby Groot. And... Yeah, I think those are the next two tier twos I want to work on. I could do Green Goblin, but that depends on how I can or how I feel. Um, I could tier two Kate Bishop, and I and I have been thinking about tier two Warwolf and Phil Coulson, but not really much on that. And this video is not super long either. It's just a quick run around about how I feel about the new update. The new update is great. Of course, you can see uh, Space Venom right here. Look at all fucking symbiote and majestic, not like Agent Venom that is not in this game. And we're going to go to the uniforms. Now, as you can see, Rocket Raccoon, he's got some skill changes, of course, but nothing sets him to make him any different than what he is now at, at a level of a character he is, which is garbage rating. Gamora, yeah, that's all I got to say. Star-Lord, basic, you know, sideburns, they got, they got the uh, fucking... The beach boy looking haircut going on here, like, I don't want to roast you. And he's got some different, you know, different abilities. I don't, I have not put any time into Star-Lord at all. He, Star-Lord is probably like a one star right now on my list. Sharon Rogers sees like a three star. This is literally one of the best uniforms in the game. I'm probably going to get it in the near future because right now I don't have enough diamonds as you can see. And I don't really have enough days. Four days to get 750. I mean, I can try. I can probably, you know, go for it. But I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see. 
and Whiplash. Wait, yeah, I forgot some of the new characters. My bad. And some of the new characters. We'll, we'll go some to some of them, too. Where is that little thing? There it is. Now, we're going to look at Mantis. We're not going to physically go in there and play as her, but we're going to, like... She's a good character. She's actually a great character. You you need to invest into her, not like saying immediately, but if you have like the side time to do and you don't really want to fucking... If you have like decent characters right now and you just want someone like interesting and someone that's still really good to use, Mantis is great. I have seen videos and I am going to be working on her soon. But she's also hard to get to and hard to farm for. Whiplash. I already got him and I'm working on him before... Um, Mantis, not because Mantis is, a, not because he's a bad character, it's because I just like the way he looks. I like his character model. And he looks pretty spiffy. I like it. I mean, his moves are shit, but, you know, he's a pretty interesting character. I just wanted to give a run about, about, like, how I felt about the, uh, you know, the update and the goods and the bad from it. And it's really not that special. It's really not that great. It really could have been a lot better. But, you know, hey, we got three good things out of it. We might as well just take what we got good out of it and use it to our advantage. And, you know, wait for whatever they're going to give us next. Hopefully it's gonna probably going to be shit. But, you know, Netmarble has its ways of, you know, making us happy in some way. And Rocket's looking at us with those I'm going to fuck you in the ass type of eyes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't like epic gameplay or anything like that. Um, there's not really much to show on this game because there's a lot of people already doing it. And there's nothing really, you know, in my opinion, worth showing besides the new event, which also, let's go back to that real quick. I will concur and I will highly recommend you go for the tier two ticket. And if you really want the card thing, go for that. But everything else in this is completely useless. I do see that you being useful, but no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you want to get your shit faster. Anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great time. Have a great day. Oh, wait, before we go, I am going to show you something about Baby Groot. Baby Groot, his, um, where is it? His, his, I think this one's it. Whichever one makes him, fuck, I forgot which one it was. One of his abilities make him, like, run around and rocket to shoot you and shit dude that ability is the shit like literally is fucking awesome right now i've already got him almost you know capped on his level and capped on his gear i don't how many bios do i have on him right now i only have 204 i don't have that many i'm gonna slowly progress on baby groot as the time being but as of right now he's going to be a tier two that's probably going to be used in when i get the um advancement ticket from the event hopefully by then i will have him ready and he will be ready and i'll do a video this is his obelisk it's not special because i've been getting shit obelisk lately i need a crit damage obelisk but this is the best i can get right now i'm gonna find a bunch of more other crit damage to combine with this but the invincibility is good and the cooldown time is decent and his immunity to fear is not that good but his recovery rate is nice because he's already he, he heals himself basically i just need a crit crit damage or crit rate type of you know I was I have Hawk's Eye which isn't like the best but it's what I got and I don't want to re-roll it <laughs> I'm not I don't have that type of gold to be spending right now because the other goal I'm using is for my world boss my world boss characters because I'm working on Ebony Maw right now but I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always stay awesome do not buy Gamora's uniform if you do you're a fucking idiot but I love you peace guys